For today's experiment, I decided to play around with PowerDirector by Cyberlink. To be more precise, the Multicam Designer. PowerDirector Multicam Designer is very limited on what you can do when you want control over multiple audio sources. You simply have to choose one source for the entire multicam edit. So if you have two hosts, you can sync both their mics together into one audio source and put that into Multicam Designer. However, the problem is you'll be locked into audio from both mics all the time. So if one host is scratching his mic while the other one is talking, the entire recording is messed up. Or if both hosts are talking over the top of each other and you want the audience to only hear one of them, you lose that control. There are other video editors that give you more control over multiple audio sources. However, some are really expensive, some aren't compatible with Windows, some require a subscription. And for me personally, I just bought CyberLink PowerDirector six months ago, and I don't feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of it yet. So I've devised a workaround that I'm going to show you so that you'll have more control over your multiple audio sources when you do a multicam edit. So the first thing you need to do is import the audio from the two separate sources. In this case, it's Brandon and Ryan. Then I'll take the audio from the first person, put it into track one, and take the audio from the second person, put it into track two. Then we have to sync these up in the timeline. You do that simply by selecting both of them and then hitting sync by audio. And I'll fast forward through this so that you don't have to see the whole thing sync. Okay, so now that those are synced together, if we zoom in here, you can see that Brandon turned his microphone on slightly before Ryan did. So we're just gonna take and chop the beginnings off of these, and then we'll cut and fill gap and move all clips. So now these should be synced up pretty well perfectly. So now what we'll do is we'll turn the audio off for the second track, and then we'll produce, and we'll just produce this as an audio clip. I have it as a WAV file, and then we will save these in the same spot that I pulled the audio from to begin with. And I'm just going to call this Brandon Audio Temp. And we'll produce that, and I'll fast forward through this as well. Okay, so then we'll go back to edit. We'll turn the audio for track two back on, and the audio for track one off. And then we'll go and produce that. And we'll just name this Ryan Audio Temp. Okay, so then we'll go back to edit. We'll turn the audio back on for both and we'll just delete those two clips. Then we'll go up here to Multicam Designer. I always exit out of this box that pops up and go up to Import Audio, Import from Hard Drive. And then we'll go to that same spot where we just saved the audio clips. And then we'll import it just for one of the people to start with. And then we'll import from camera one, which is my Sony AX100. And then we'll import from camera two, which is my GoPro. And then we will apply audio analysis synchronization. And again, I'm gonna fast forward through this so you don't have to sit here for a minute watching it synchronize. Now, one thing to note is that in order to do what I'm doing here, if you have any video footage that starts before your audio clip, you have to delete that first. So I'll come over here and we'll just check that, delete it, and click OK. And once you do that, you do have to resync. Okay, so now it's all synced up, and I'm going to find a spot that uh, has a little bit of dialogue here. And I'll just make sure that uh, imported audio is selected here. Here you can see how limited PowerDirector is. You can select one audio source, camera one, two, three, four. And even if you go through here and you record little bits and pieces from the imported audio, and then you go to another spot and say you want to record from camera one for that spot. When you switch to camera one to record in that spot, it switches to camera one on what you already recorded. So whatever you have this audio source set to, when you come over here and click OK, that's the audio source that it's going to put in for you on the entire multicam edit. 
So right now, this should be just Brandon's microphone. The um, the carburetors and everything. I mean, I don't I don't think that's gonna fit without cutting this out where the motor's at already. Anyway. Yeah, I'd already planned on cutting you know this section out probably back to about where the hood goes. Um, so we'll just stop there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to take Brandon's audio and I'm going to go copy. And I'm going to go down to track two and I'm going to go paste. And then I'm going to re-highlight all of this and I'm going to go back to Multicam Designer. Just click yes. And now I'm going to come over here to audio and then I'm going to check Brandon's audio and I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to add this audio from Ryan Audio Temp into that spot and I'm going to click OK. So now, okay, we'll just make sure that this is on imported audio. I'm just going to play what I had already recorded and you should hear that Brandon's voice is now quiet and the audio is only coming through my mic. The um, the carburetors and everything, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's gonna fit without cutting this out where the motor's at already anyway. Yeah, I would already planned on cutting, you know, this section out probably back to about where the hood goes. Uh, and then if I click OK. So now here is my audio right here. Here's Brandon's audio and it's perfectly synced. So let's say one of us was talking over the other. I could delete my audio in that spot. So let's go to where Brandon is talking right here. And I'm just going to cut my audio. So when I remove that little section, is that already anyway? Yeah, I'd already planned on cutting, you know, this section out probably back. So if we were talking over each other here or something like that, then I could cut my audio out and all you would hear is through Brandon's microphone. And sometimes these won't get perfectly synced up either. And unless you do this, if you've merged both those files into one audio source, sometimes you'll hear a little bit of an echo through the microphones because you've got two going into one source. And once you've merged those into one source, you can't get rid of that. That's just there. So if you do it this way, you have complete control over both microphones. So I hope that helps anybody out there that's been running into the same problems that I have when trying to do multi-cam edits with multiple audio sources. And this is a little more cumbersome than some of the other video editors out there that have this type of technology built into them, but this does work and will hopefully help you to make a more professional sounding video. So hope that helps and thanks for watching.